I'm here to deliver the keynote presentation and it's an opportunity, I suppose, to uh, present our company's credentials and tell folks about what we're up to. Well, we really came here to talk to people about the project for financing because London's such a huge centre for that and this is a very opportune time for us to talk about it in front of a very good crowd. I'm giving a talk after lunch today uh, about getting a company ready to take advantage of the upswing that's arrived in the markets already. This is a perfect market to talk to investors that are keen to hear about mining companies that are doing business. I was intrigued with the spread of speakers and the macro, the combination of macro and micro. The intrinsically cyclical nature of exploration expenditure means there is no normal or correct level of spending. And the expenditure levels during cyclic booms are simply not sustainable. Previous downturns in exploration spending have had no discernible impact on copper production or price. I think 200 there is, a, is, a, is an under is an understatement. We've probably met, I think, three or four hundred potential management teams in the mining sector. The big change for us since beginning before summer and after summer is that we are having a number of conversations now with clients about IPO. Um, as I said, timing uncertain, uh, but companies have started pressing the button on preparing for IPO, encouraged, of course, partly by the banks, but uh, the banks uh, seeing that window, um, that window coming. There was a last presentation that was very good on the wall of debt, and it was uh, interesting to understand, you know, the fundamentals on, from a debt point of view in the industry. The speaker, Mr. Finlayson from Rio Tinto, who opened the day, I thought he was exceedingly good, very competent, and just what you want and he spoke on copper. The turnout's been great. I think the speakers have been great. I really enjoyed listening to um, Mark uh, Brown from Barclays. I think he's, um, he's very enthusiastic. I mean, he's um, very confident in the market with his private equity fund. It is great, you know, meeting people, bumping into people you already know. Uh, we just met for the yep. first time through George Rogers, who uh, we both know. These events are perfect for reconnecting with old people and building new networks as well. I've had some quite interesting conversations. Uh, what I quite like is the fact that people are always reasonably open at these kind of events um, and so they'll maybe give you a few more ideas than they might necessarily do in other things. And you get a different mix because you'll get other people who will disagree but actually disagree straight away so you can get some debate going. I like listening to some of the presentations, it's good to hear what's going on in the economy but principally you know this for me is to come and meet the companies, meet the people, meet some of the intermediaries because we've got to find deals at the moment and uh, originating deals, these are the best environment to originate a deal. You never know who you're going to meet and it's always interesting because there's a wide uh, range of people here. You've got investors, you've got uh, miners, so there's a lot of expertise in the room but you have to find them. There's a nice mix of fund managers, brokers, corporates, intermediaries, which is always very useful. The mining sector is a very international sector and London is probably the most international market, the most international stock exchange. We've got companies from around 60 countries around the world, so investors are very much geared up to invest in international companies. London has been, well, I was born here first of all, so um, I'm familiar with the city on other levels, right, but as a London as an in investment hub or an investment uh, uh, community, uh, I think we're, you, you saw it today. Right? There was, there's lots of people here, there's lots of interested people here, there's lots of people who know about the resource industry um, that are based in London. Right? So it's a very good, very good place to be and we like coming here because we're always, we're always welcomed. Right? So 